Now I'm delighted to invite to the stage a double act for Tasmania. The Premier of Tasmania, the Honourable Will Hodgman, and Commissioner Darren Hine to present on behalf of the Tasmanian Government. Thank you very much. Um, and I can guess what some of you are thinking about two Tasmanian heads uh, presenting <laughs> to you this morning. But um, what we're going to do is perhaps give a little insight to the, the front line, to those who operate supporting government policy. Um, can I acknowledge the traditional owners um, to Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull and to the Federal Minister for Women, Senator the Honourable Michaelia Cash, um, to my First Minister colleagues and to Women's Safety Ministers. Can I also thank Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk for her vision to bring us together and thank you very much alongside the Prime Minister for hosting us here today to distinguished guests, Dame Quentin Bryce um, and particularly the delegates, those who work to support women who have experienced violence. Um, I've the honour to be here today representing um, the beautiful island state to outline what we're doing and to be part of a national effort to tackle violence against women and their children. Um, the smallest state, but uh, by no means where family violence is any less of a problem in our community. I think what today demonstrates too um, is the power of our federation, perhaps not always known for its cohesion, uh, for its outcomes and for collaboration. I think the fact that all levels of government are represented here today, including local government, and Detroit Picard, who represents that sector. We come together very much uh, as a team to work together, to collaborate, to understand what each jurisdiction is doing, what's working and what we can do better. I think this is a great demonstration of the power of our federation. I took on whole of government responsibility for this issue uh, with the strong support of my Minister for Women, Jackie Petruzma, who's here today, but I thought it was uh, an important opportunity for me as a, a man to lead a whole of government response to family violence in Tasmania. And I chair a government cabinet subcommittee to ensure that we do approach things in a cohesive whole of government effective way. Eliminating family violence is a top priority for my government, as indeed it is for all of us. And in August of 2015, we introduced our new whole of government strategy, Safe Homes, Safe Families, Tasmania's Family Violence Action Plan 2015 to 2020. It is a coordinated whole of government five-year action plan to prioritise the safety and wellbeing of all those affected by family violence, but particularly women and children. It contains 19 new direct actions under three key areas, changing the attitudes and behaviours that lead to family violence, supporting families affected by family violence and strengthening our legal responses to family violence. A key step we took uh, prior to the release of our strategy was to recognise and publicly acknowledge that before things get better, they'll probably get worse. We expected that the number of reported incidents would increase Higher reporting of family violence doesn't mean, of course, that the strategy is not working. Um, in fact, an increase in community knowledge and awareness of family violence generally does lead to an increase in reporting. But this can be a positive because it means that more victims are feeling confident about coming forward and accessing the services and support they need. And it's important also for governments and for the community to understand the true extent of the problem if we're to properly tackle it. Another key learning of our strategy is that governments can do so much more and so much better working with the community, with the community sector and indeed the private sector. Uh, no government alone can tackle this issue, uh, but together, again, through collaboration, we're seeing tremendous results. We established a family violence consultative group made up of key stakeholders and they're intrinsically part of implementing the Safe Home, Safe Family strategy. And a number of non-government organisations, a number of whom are here today, national as well as the Tasmanian delegates, are responsible for the implementation of our actions. And a year on, we're seeing significant progress. Um, in particular, we have, as one of the central features of our strategy, 
established Safe Choices Service, uh, which is providing practical non-crisis support, including information, advice or referral for people wanting to leave violent relationships. We have new psychologists, new social workers working in government schools and child and family centres across Tasmania. Community organisations are providing additional counselling for young people and, and women, uh, for adults affected by family violence. We're providing additional housing for families affected by family violence. And a new site has been secured and in which we're building dedicated crisis accommodation for women and their children escaping family violence, which will allow for a 30% increase in capacity compared with the current facilities. We've employed dedicated police prosecutors to work in our courts and to ensure that there is consistent and specialised prosecution of family violence cases and to enhance the support available for clients affected by family violence, particularly in regional areas. Respectful relationships programs will be introduced to all Tasmanian schools. We're in the process of delivering that. Relationships Australia Tasmania has been appointed to deliver a men's behaviour change program to assist men who have used violence and abuse towards their partners. And they'll also provide specialist family violence education and training programs for workers in mainstream services who may come into contact with low to medium risk family violence perpetrators. And we're piloting a program which offers forensic medical examination and documentation of injuries by specialist forensic nurse examiners for the victims of family violence. Like every jurisdiction, these are just some of the initiatives that we're implementing under our strategy. But a key factor and another central uh, element to what we're seeking to do also brings our government agencies together. Um, and it's fitting that I follow Premier Jay Weatherall in South Australia. Um, and indeed another legacy of our Australian of the Year, Rosie Batty, was for us as a state to look to what other jurisdictions are doing and to look to South Australia and their MAPS program and to implement a similar thing in Tasmania. We've established uh, the Safe Homes, Safe Families and Coordination Unit. Um, it's an example of the Federation working well and I think what will be a product of today's gathering, that we can learn from each other, uh, we can see what's working and we can adapt it to our own particular jurisdiction to have the maximum impact. And with that, um, and knowing that um, I'm going to be joined on stage by uh, the Tasmanian Police Commissioner, Darren Hine, I think it is important that we get a perspective of those who work at the coalface. Um, and I will ask Commissioner Hine to give you some perspectives on how the unit's going. Thanks, Premier. We may be a double act, but this is certainly one issue that we act as one. The origins of the uh, Safe Families Unit uh, was informed by the South Australia Innovative uh, MAPS model, as the Premier just uh, said. It is a Tasmanian police-led initiative located in Hobart and comprising of representatives from key government agencies responsible for supporting Tasmanians affected by family violence. The unit has statewide responsibilities and complements the long-established Safe at Home response. The unit commenced uh, full operation in June 2016. The unit is responsible for reviewing all reported family violence incidents statewide, and I repeat all. The role of the unit is to perform detailed analysis of all high-risk cases and provides targeted, coordinated and recommended actions to all partner agencies. This information is provided in a report which details the current situation and all validated government information for that family so that everyone knows what each agency is doing to help support that family. A perpetrator profile is created which is made available to all operational police and Department of Justice staff who are managing perpetrators of family violence in the community and in prison. All police officers in Tasmania have a tablet device each officer is able to access the perpetrator resource in real time, allowing a coordinated response. The unit comprises of senior representatives from the Department of Police, Fire and Emergency Management, Department of Education, Justice and Health and Human Services. 
He currently has access to in excess of 60 individual state government data sets. The recommended actions from the unit are captured and audited by the existing Safe at Home coordination units in each geographic district. The information is also used to help keep frontline staff safe when they deal with family violence matters. Since the unit opened in June of this year, we have seen a reduction of 16.5% in reported high risk family incidents, but again, it's only early days. A simple example of how the information has assisted victims of family violence, recently the unit received information through the Ambulance Tasmania electronic paramedic field notes and was able to identify the presence of a young and highly vulnerable female child victim and witness to a high risk family violence matter. This person had not been previously identified in other government records for this incident. As a result of identifying this young person through those records, the unit was able to make a number of timely and coordinated interventions to support this child. These included targeted educational and psychological supports through the Department of Education and Health and Human Services. So that's a simple practical example of how we're assisting those victims and family violence. Thanks, Premier. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, so in closing, can I just say um, thank you all very much for being here today, those who work in our communities to uh, support those who are the victims of, of violence. Um, to those outside of this place who are working as we speak. Uh, this is now very clearly a national issue. Um, I acknowledge all those who have made it so and we remember all those, the victims, uh, who, for whom we resolve to do a lot better and a lot more and we commit uh, to connect, to act and to change things for the better. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed to Premier Hodgman and Commissioner Hyme.